Hello and welcome back to another video at the Capital Traders Group. Now in this video, I will be carrying on from the previous video. If you haven't already, link will be in the description down below. But um, this is part two to the £10 challenge. Now what I'll be doing, if you haven't got the gist already, is trading £10 and see as far as I can take it, use, uh, being conservative and only trading high probable setups. I'll be, uh, list, I'll be mainly using the, the rules that I listed in the first video. So do make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But um, yeah, so let's just get stuck in. So if you guys remember from the first video, I was in an XRP short. Now the XRP position ended up coming back to about close around break even. So I did um, to end up taking profit when I saw that indication. So uh, um, I'll uh, leave a screenshot of that somewhere. Um, and then I st uh, and then I started trading XRP um, int on, on an intraday perspective, just ping pong losing using low risk because there wasn't many high probability um, plays um, often in the market just yet. So I was intraday using low risk, which was about ten fifteen dollars. Um, considering the very low risk I was using, it's still good um, good RR um, in terms of the um, return. So. Now I'm currently in a BTC short. Now this is a high probability short play. I've sh I've also shared it with the team as well. Um, and currently what I'm anticipating is a break of the seventeen thousand, uh, seventeen point five thousand dollar region. And I'm um, I'm going to break this down shortly. So why don't we just go and head over to the charts now? So um, if you remember from the last video, we were in these um, XRP shorts um, on the challenge account. Um, now I've taken profit about 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 this region. I'll leave a screenshot of it uh, We see where I took profits um, As the reason I took profits as I was anticipating price to start changing and shifting uh, Momentum to come to the upside where we could sell again at a premium level now. I'll break this down a bit more clearer here uh, So price did come up came to this zone to the left here. If I just mark it here So this was an interest zone of mine. It came back in me to get the 50% level and then started retracing. Now, what I did was I caught a few moves from these levels. Uh, took a one to three here. Um, this was the main move sell that I took here. I, I believe it was Saturday. I shared the move with the team as well. I'll leave a screenshot of that as well. Um, uh, then we'll just ping pong and there was about a few moves that weren't um didn't survive now the main move i was looking for was the short because price kept coming back to this zone and mitigating and it was drying up liquidity so i knew that there was a there was a um a bear move to come to take out this low uh this low right here if you see here right I was, that's what i was anticipating and it did the only thing is um it missed my zone at um uh, sorry it came into my zone but it was about two o'clock um uh, lot, uh, last well technically this morning um, when I would have been sleeping. So that was a bit unfortunate, but to counteract that, that's why we got into the BTC shorts. Now, if you see, BTC is offering a nice high probable play um, as, I'm as I'm anticipating, um, we've seen a, a clear a distribution take place, but I'm anticipating a break of the slow. Now, if you see here, we are in about um, small profit, but I will look to, I may scale in on the move um, as just so that we can uh, look to uh, um, be a little more aggressive, as I mentioned in the first video, because uh, as I'm anticipating these lows to get taken, I want to scale in on the move, but I want to wait for lower time frame confirmations first. So if you go on, on about three minute time frame, I want to see these lows get taken and then I can scale in with another potential short play with SO just above this region. If we take this low right now, um, although I would prefer price to come up a little higher, maybe into this region before selling off. But um, if we do see an aggressive sell off, I don't think price will offer that opportunity to us. So that's why I'm going to I may be a little more aggressive. I'm going to see if while I'm recording this video, I will try to um, uh, see if I can uh, record the, the entry of the move. But I, I may take a scaling just to come down here so we can see a potential 2R play of the scaling move. Um, just so we can capitalize with a little more risk on this play because if you look on the uh, on the intraday time frames we are already in the play um, in slight profit but um, because I'm seeing clear cut distribution I'm going to uh, anticipate a much more aggressive move to come it is Monday 
So liquidity is a bit scarce, but you have to remember it is um, the 27th of June. Um, so it's the last um, week of the a quarterly closing. Now, if you know anything about quarterly closing, you should understand that the, uh, the end of the quarter offers, very, uh, offers a lot more um, volume hence a lot more opportunities because banks and uh, the institutions usually close out their um, some of their orders and rebalance their portfolios during the quarter end. So that offers a lot more um, opportunities across all markets, whether it's FX, crypto, indices, whatever, uh, stocks. Um, so that's why uh, I'm looking to really capitalize off this potential move on um on BTC, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep this updated. I will try to record the scaling as well. But um, if price does hit our TP, then we'll be at forty four dollars. We'll have about three times our risk on this potential trade. But I'm risking about twelve dollars, so I may increase my risk on this. The car account is currently on about I, I believe about fifty five dollars. Um, I'll show you guys the close uh, the P and L of the XRP trades that I was uh, mentioning, just so I can be a little more transparent and you guys can see um the positions i'm referring to it's where is it here it is right close pin i don't have any positions on here yet missed the main short i was looking for because of the uh, the time i was sleeping but you guys can see they are a bit uh let's just move this here right you guys can see now it took a bit, a few small losses. Um, closed P and L about one point five. Another dollar took a dollar loss. Four and a half dollars, sixty cents. That was about break even positions. Four dollars. The main sell was at twenty four dollars, um, and that's just before the challenge when I was testing out the position uh, on the six. So that's before that doesn't uh, that doesn't really reflect on the challenge, but. Um, this is the main when we challenged started the challenge on the 24th so yeah I just wanted to be a little transparent and just so you guys can see where uh, where we are and what I'm anticipating so that's the main position that I've taken on XRP um, currently in the BTC BTC shorts which I am going to scale in um, just momentarily because I want to see price come right above this level as well. Um, I'm just going to wait for those lower time frame confirmations. I want to see these lows get taken, then I'll scale in um, with another short. Um, again, being a little more aggressive, but I'm anticipating that aggressive sell off to come in um, shortly. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be a moment. Um, I'll update shortly. So let's just be patient and wait. Hello, everyone. Hope you are all well. Now, um, in this video, uh, it is currently Thursday, so about three days after um, where I took the original um, position, which was on Monday. So um, today I'll be updating that position, how BTC has played out since then and how I have scaled in the position and just updating the challenge thus far. So let's just get right into it. Right. So let's move this here. Now, um, BTC is currently in about 17, 1,700 pips profit. I'm anticipating more downside as I I, um, I mentioned earlier, right? We have the clear schematic distribution playing out. There was plenty of scaling opportunities that were shared with uh, the, mental, uh, the mental students. I did share this position with our premium analysis members also. Um, now the uh, position is running out quite nicely. Um, I'm anticipating now we've breached this twenty thousand dollar region. Um, these lows here have been taken. It's a clear indication that sellers are very, very active um, and dominant in this area. So now I'm anticipating the lows to get taken at seventeen thousand five hundred, and that is where I'll look to take my profits off. Now currently the position is. Uh, if I just move this up here. Currently, the position is uh, running about $137 in profit. Now, the reason this is because I was able to scale in on the move uh, at this level. Um, as price came down, I, I knew price would break this level. I was able to scale in in this zone. And now when you scale in at lower prices, price does um, the entry does actually average down to where your average orders are on Bybit. But nonetheless, um, price is running uh, um 
quite well as we anticipate. It's over 134, uh, 135 um, dollars profit unrealized. I will move my stops to break even now, which is 20607. You can see uh, I, I went full, full out on $56 on this position, but I only scaled in after confirmations were made. So uh, 20607, confirm. So now the position is risk-free. Uh, it has already been updated to the team as well. Um, I may look to take out a small, a small partial. Um, but I'm going to wait because I know there's a lot more downside to come yet before we see any uh, potential retracements. But the position is running quite well. Um, when I do take profits, I'll leave a screenshot of that too. Um, but it depends how long it takes to hit target. It shouldn't take too long either. Um, but hopefully it hits it by tonight just so I can get this video edited and uploaded for you guys as well. So um, And then we can do an update on how, uh, how far the account has come on part two of the challenge. So hello everyone hope you are all well um now i just wanted to uh, do a quick little update video um if you remember last night we were in decent profit i was able to uh, scale uh, uh, partials out at uh, about this region here as you saw potential bounce by i was holding the majority of my position as i was anticipating the lows to be taken i still am but what price ended up doing um just on the last hour of the uh, weekly candle closure uh, we saw a big big push up this was during asia session so uh would have been sleeping around this time but price came up mitigated this this block here um uh, some of the members were still in uh i uh, uh am still in the position as i got earlier entry up here on my personal account i'll leave a screenshot here as well but what price ended up doing come up um it, it, in essence this zone here is the monthly candle clo um the monthly all-time high the previous all-time high of 2017 it bounced off that level uh, which is a significant level uh, just at the end of the weekly candle closure which you can expect um, but unfortunately uh, um, it, it came out and took me out on the challenge account but I was as I was able to uh, secure profit was still able to secure about $60 $65 so still we're at double um, double what the account was uh, as currently uh, was currently on it was on $50 before now we're at $115 I will look for one more position a good position I can scale into on lower time frames um, to take advantage as I'm still anticipating this low to get taken so I will scope down to lower time frames um, and potentially look for another position um, just as I see confirmation on lower time frames, because I will be patient. Um, because even though we are scaling, I was waiting for a little bit of a um, uh, this target to get hit, so we'd have a little more capital before I uh, I withdrew the money and put it into the FX account. But I will keep an eye on BTC as it is uh, the volatility is still nice, so we can still trade it. But I'm just going to be patient and wait for the best high probable uh, trade to come. So, um I hope you enjoyed this video. With all that said and done, please do leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'll have this updated for you guys shortly. Um, part three will be on the way in a uh, in a couple of days, depending on how this week ends as well. So I'm gonna try um, get the second video out for you guys shortly as well. So if you do like any of this content, please do subscribe, leave a like, comment, do all the good stuff. And if you wanna join any of our services, links will be in the description below. Now with all that said and done, bye bye.